So I'm joined by Togo Zilin Shika, Executive Manager for Stakeholder Management at Assessria for more on improving the customer experience. Togozili, let's get this interview started by taking a look, obviously, at the fact that uh, sometimes South African consumers are left uh, feeling uninspired and not very satisfied by their insurance providers. But uh, uh, what's the link there? Maybe is it the leadership within the companies and uh, uh, customer satisfaction? I'm of the view that the key driver is leadership. There's a very close link between leadership and, and customer centricity. As leaders in the insurance industry, we need to drive the culture of customer centricity within our organizations. And that for us starts with hiring the right people, making sure that they're inspired to serve others, making sure that they have the right skills, coaching them all the time, and of course empowering them, giving them authority in their portfolios. Mm. Uh, just to explore the landscape, uh, how, how do South Africans feel about insurance at the moment? Are they fairly satisfied with the level of experience they receive? I wouldn't say so. I don't think they're satisfied. I think um, the product we sell is really not tangible. So it's the service we're selling to, to the end consumer and I don't think the service levels within our industry is at a level where the co end consumer is happy with it. How do we change it though? That's the big question. Yeah, like where I started, it's the leadership. Us as leaders need to start creating that culture within our organizations. So if we start now, create the right skills in people who want to serve. So as we create that culture, empower the people, make sure we have a pool of, of, of those relevant skills in the market, and we make sure we leave it as leaders, it's a start. How we'll do you do that though? Because it's a significant mind change, not only for those at the helm, but for those who will be below those uh, particular leaders. Uh, are there certain steps in order to make sure that uh, everyone's goals and, and, and uh, aspirations are aligned? I think it needs um, a, market, um, a market support. It can be done in, in pockets. All of us as leaders need to get together and agree on the service standards that we're going to give the end consumer and leave that. Yeah. So the start is with us, the leaders. Does it go back again to maybe reviewing what the key co uh, common mistakes and uh, complaints are when you look at the insurance ombudsman? It, it boils down to communication because the, the complaints that go to the ombudsman, we're not communicating to the client properly. Mm -hmm. We're not telling the client what's happening. The clients don't know what to expect, what's the process that will be followed through. When the claim is declined, we're probably not even giving sufficient information on the reasons the claim is declined to the comfort of the, of, of the end user. So we need to improve the communication levels. And for me, that means the skills of the people we hire in those um, front, uh, front line positions <coughs> need to really be elevated. I want to play devil's advocate for a moment because whenever we speak to representatives from insurance companies, they say, read the terms and conditions, understand the fine print, as a consumer, ask the right questions. Uh, what if I, as the leader of insurance firm, actually say, I'm doing all the right things, maybe it's my consumer uh, who's not uh, acting in a responsible manner enough. Uh, can we potentially bridge uh, that divide? You wouldn't be wrong. It's, it's a balance. Mm. The end consumer has got a role to play. You need to read your policy terms. You need to know what you're buying. And yes, we also have a responsibility to educate you, to tell you the terms and conditions. So it's a balance. Um, yes, the end consumer needs to read. And, and uh, from my experience, the end consumer has gone much more sophisticated. They're mm. much more knowledgeable. They're much more informed than, than they were a couple of years ago. So maybe there is something we're doing right as the industry mm. educating the, the, the end consumer on what the terms and conditions are. Mm. What about the role of technology, though, uh, to, to help us expedite this process? There's been a lot of that um, in the market. It brings a lot of ease. I mean, most of the quotations that are done now is over the phone. Claims are put in over the phone, online. So it does bring a lot of ease in administration. It makes the client much more comfortable that they have control of the claim that they are lodging, they are uploading the documents online, um, and they know the status of the claim. They can track it themselves instead of phoning in. So it brings a lot of ease in administration. It makes the clients much more comfortable, and it makes us efficient, of course. Mm. Just to close off with, obviously, this does come at a significant investment, investment in people, investment in the technological infrastructure. Uh, so I take it again, you, you need the buy-in of those leaders at insurance firms to, to want to drive consumer satisfaction and invest in the appropriate streams. Yes, indeed. Um, it, it Yes, the leadership needs to drive it. We need the right people. Um, we need to invest a lot, I believe, in human capital. So the development of the relevant skills, getting them to the level that we want them to be at as leaders, 
will take us a long way in, 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 the, in the market. Tokozile, thank you so much for your time. We hope that uh, the right individuals have been listening to this conversation. That was Tokozile Nshika, who is the Executive Manager uh, for Stakeholder Management at Sastrian.